Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by Louis Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and in this video we'll be looking at the new changes for the Create and Post library inside Blender. If you're familiar with the old method with Blender 3.3, probably 3.4, there was a way of creating the Post library but there were some changes done with the newer version so we'll be looking at how to use that. In addition to that we'll be looking at how to actually use your post library with your projects uh, because you might run into problems where you link a file or append it and it doesn't come in with your project so we're looking at all of that so if you're ready let's get started now in blender we have this character which is already rigged and ready um, for the simulation of your own project so let's create a couple of poses um, for that i'm just going to apply just quick animation Okay, and then let's bring up the timeline so we see what we delay with. To use this, you want to first go to your user preference and click on add on and we'll search for animation. So, this is what you're looking for animation pose library. You want to have that enabled and probably save it as a um, save your user preference. Uh, once you have that and you go into the pose mode, you can be able to access it right here. You should see something that looks like this. Currently, you can find nothing looking here. If you select any of your link, pose library, nothing will happen, but you want to just leave this as current file. For us to create the pose library, what you want to do is drag out a new window and we can switch this to our asset library. If you want to work faster, you can use the sh um, shortcut ship F1 and it can easily um, cycle through the file browser and the post library. Okay, so depending on what you have your set with, um, it might be set at all. So we're, good, we're just gonna switch this to current file. And we have current uh, currently nothing in the current file. So let's create it. Once you have your pose, you will notice this new icon here, the asset, and you have create pose. And you can click on create pro uh, pose and you have that. Um, I think if you want to have it saved to camera, you just need to add a camera and make it visible and place it something like this. You can change the resolution to, let's say, 1000 by 1000. So it's easier for your animator to be able to re uh, recognize it. So if you press the special key, W, you can delete it or clear the asset. So let's do that one more time. We have all the bones selected and we can click on create asset. So based off the camera view, it's going to create a thumbnail for you to use uh, for your animator. So we can create a couple of more. Let's say this one and we'll go back to our camera view and place it somewhere nice. Okay. And we'll create another pose and let's create one last one. Great asset. Okay, and we can go ahead and remove all the animation. Next, um, for some cost customization, you probably want to rename it. Um, so you just need to select the pose, hit the end panel, or you can click on this arrow right here, and it's gonna bring that up. So we want to name this whatever. We can call this pose one. Call this pose two. And call this pose three. And if we go into pose mode while selecting your rig, and we go to the animation tab, we can see we have all the poses there saved. If you double click it, your character will inherit those poses. So depending on the bones you selected while creating the pose, that's where the pose is going to be applied onto. So we can switch between different poses. We can see what we have. We are going to go ahead and save this and create a new blend file and let's go to file and try to link it. So we're going to link um, collection one, so we don't have that. Um, let's add everything into a collection to make it easier for us to select. Um, it's saved in collection one, so it should be able to then link all the collection all at once. So link make sure we have the right one collection one. okay so we have it 
So to make this animate table, um, currently it's not. We want to go to object. We want to go to um, library override and make library override. Once you do that, you can now select pose mode. So we can clear the rotation and location and everything. If we go to our animation data to look for the pose which we created earlier, you will notice you can find it. Even if you go to your asset library using the shortcut which I showed you, which is Shift F1, we can see if we go to current file, we can file, find it. Um, the reason for that is you need to, for every new scene, you have to show Blender the, the file part. And that's how the pose library works. To do that, you want to go back to user preference, go to file parts. And if you're using the most recent version of Blender, you will notice the new UI for the asset library. And you can just click on the plus icon and it quickly takes you to this file browser. And we go to the desktop where we have that saved. It's not going to show you any blend file. It's just direct, you're just directing, directing it to a folder. So if you have a bunch of um, character assets that have a um, bunch of um, post library asset, it's going to load them all at once. So you want to do a good job in each of your blend files where you're creating the post as um, post library asset to kind of create a category. So if you want more in-depth um, tutorial on that, you can check out categorizing assets in post library or just watch more tutorials on how to organize your post library assets. Okay, so we're going to select the desktop um, directory and hit OK. If you want to choose to save your preference, if it's something you'll be using always, you can go ahead and save that preference so that you don't have to load that up every time. Uh, but if it's not something you use, you can just um, leave it for that particular work session. Once we have that and we select desktop, we can see all the pose library which we have, which we created, sorry. Um, yeah, so you can just quickly click on it. Uh, I mean, while we're at it, I can actually show you how to organize it um, just quickly. So let's open back that one. So we have all this pose and it's currently saved. Um, delete this. So we have it unorganized. So you, if you click here or you can click on plus, uh, we are basically creating a new category. So we can call this male, tut like male tutorial. Okay, um, and we save this, uh, the file and that we can get rid of that asterisk. Uh, if you click on all, we can have access to all the post library and we can just drag them. If you use A to select all, you can just drag them into the mail chute. And now you can see when we click on it, we have all the assets. And we go ahead and save this. So if we click on new and repeat what we did earlier, I'm just gonna quickly link the file which we had earlier and make this library override and see if we'll have access to our desktop. So if you go to your asset library, which you can still access it, um, if you don't want to use this, if it's quite noisy, you can use the categories which we created earlier, which is the mail to it. Yeah, so this is how you can organize stuff um, or like a bigger project. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and informative. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wish to see more from me, please hit the subscribe button. Bye for now. See you next time.